Welcome back to Insomnia Fuel. Today we are going to look at three creepy Reddit posts from the paranormal subreddit. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and let's dive in. And don't forget to leave a like if you go on to like this video. You know that feeling you get when you see a big spider in your house and then you look away for a minute and when you look back, it's just not there anymore? Well, me and hundreds of people in the city I live felt that creepy sensation simultaneously two nights ago. I've always been skeptical. I've always the first one to laugh at this kind of paranormal stuff. But this, I believe, is the only thing I can't find an explanation for. January 5th, 2021, two days ago at the time I'm writing this, was an absolutely normal day. Virtual classes, Zooming friends, and some video games, just your average day. However, when nighttime came, specifically around midnight, I started feeling this really tense atmosphere in my room. It's not like I actually saw something or heard anything in particular, but it just felt like there was something or someone there with me hiding. It got to the point where I had to get up from bed constantly to turn on the lights and check the floor because it felt like there was a rat or a spider creeping around somewhere. I wouldn't say it was terrifying, but it definitely felt cold or heavy atmosphered. Just to make it clear, it's not like I watched a horror movie or played a horror video game before going to bed. Like I said, it was a completely normal daily routine day. When I finally fell asleep, I dreamt of a lot of things and all my dreams were set in my house. None of them were nightmares though. Next morning was normal and I had almost forgotten how weird last night was. But then when I was having lunch with my sister, she mentioned she was really tired because she didn't get almost any sleep and felt like there was a snake in her bedroom. When my mom heard about it, she told us that our dog, who sleeps in her bedroom, was anxious all night. And not only us, but a lot of my sister's friends on Facebook were sharing their experiences that they couldn't sleep well either, that their dogs were barking all night, heard women screaming, and overall just felt this really tense atmosphere, and that someone was watching them. It almost became a meme. Even a local news anchor mentioned it on his social media. I'm not necessarily saying this was a paranormal event, but it was definitely weird, and I can't find an explanation for it. I tried to do some research on Google, but I couldn't find anything. In case someone is curious about this, the place I live in is Siuenca a small city in the highlands of southern Ecuador. I've always been rather perceptive of the paranormal, and eventually I just got used to its presence in my life. For example, when I was about eight, my older sister had a doll. It always freaked me out to the point of tears, and I would refuse to sleep until someone took it out of the room. It would be normal if I had pediophobia, but I had a doll of my own that I would take everywhere, and I never reacted that way around other dolls. Even now I have an obsession with collecting them, having 20 plus on my shelf right now. The doll that was my own always felt like a mother or sister figure to me, and I would talk to it, feed, though that didn't end well, and sleep with it. Never once did I feel in danger, but I always felt watched by the doll. That leads me to what inspired me to make this post in the first place. I fell asleep in the afternoon and stayed that way for about 5 hours until I was startled awake for no apparent reason. I'm a very heavy sleeper, so I just kinda laid there. I eventually started to doze off again, so I closed my eyes and tried to go back to bed. It was at that point that things really started. 
started to hear static. Notably, it sounded like it was in my head, not from anything around the house. There wasn't anything that could possibly make that sound. I turned to the internet, and I found it sounded very similar to pure pink noise. I'm used to ringing in my ears or faded static, but it has never been that prominent before. After a couple of seconds, I started hearing voices. I could clearly hear the voices over the static, but for some reason, I can't remember what they said except for one sentence. All the voices sounded the same. It didn't sound like different people. The voice sounded gentle, but not quite feminine, not masculine either. I'm not sure how to explain it, but it sounded very monotone. I had tried to move, but for some reason I couldn't. I can't quite explain how difficult it was to even twitch my leg. I slept with my back facing the edge of my bed, which I don't normally do, but my puppy fell asleep on my leg, so I just accepted my fate. And during the moment, I felt as if something was behind me, only deepening my fear. The words and sentences started overlapping each other, and I couldn't make out the words anymore. Well, until the last sentence, when it went quiet. And one single voice said, You should be dead. Well, it would've. I was lucky enough to have a saving grace. My phone. I've always slept with my phone on my bed or nightstand. I can't sleep without it. It is rather old compared to most people's phones, and normally my notifications are late. How late they are usually depend on which app it's from. Today I fell asleep with it on my bed. I must have rolled over onto it because when the notification went off I felt the vibration. Vibration of the phone silenced the voices in static for a moment, cutting off the voice before it could finish its sentence. I was quick to use this as leverage to try to move. The voices tried to start back up again, but not even a second later I managed to open my eyes again. As soon as I did, I was in control of my body again and I could move freely. There was nothing in my room, but I still felt a weird sort of energy in the air. Like that feeling you get when you're walking down a dark street alone. I'm not sure how I know that it was going to say, dead, but I just do. It was like I knew what it was going to say before it even got to the second word. It's not the first time I've had paranormal experiences, but if this is paranormal, then it is certainly the most violent experience, and I'm not sure how comfortable I am going back to bed just yet. It might just be sleep paralysis, but I'm not educated enough on the matter to say for sure, and I've never had it, which is why I came here. So, paranormal, sleep paralysis, or both? When I was a kid, I used to lay awake in my bed with my eyes closed and try to picture things in my mind. Most of the time, my favorite things to imagine were very large spaces. For example, I would try to imagine what it would look like if you could dig a hole in the ground so big that you hollowed out the earth. It's not as easy as it sounds, and I would have to really concentrate in order to do it. I would start by imagining a hole in the ground, about the size of a basketball, and slowly try to imagine it growing bigger and bigger until it started to feel enormous. I wasn't always able to do it, but sometimes I could, and the feeling when I was able to do it was very surreal and fleeting. I was never able to imagine anything of that size for very long before it would shrink back to the size of a city block or so. About a week ago, I suddenly remembered doing this and decided to give a try before bed. I didn't get very far before I started to see very disturbing things instead. Evil eyes and faces started to appear. <laughs> I could only really make out outlines of the faces and eyes, but they were very present and intimidating. They looked a lot like the Pennywise clown from the new It movies. I would first notice them from what felt like some distance away, but they would flit around getting closer and closer until it felt like they were a pair of eyes as close as they could possibly be right in front of my face. At first, I wasn't able to keep my eyes closed because it was very unsettling and persistent. No matter what I did or thought, they wouldn't go away. The longer I held my eyes closed, the closer and more threatening these entities felt. When I opened my eyes, I could still see a set of eyes in my vision the same way you see a dot after staring at a bright light for too long. But with my eyes open, the eyes were much more subdued and were easier to deal with. 
I didn't feel as threatened with my eyes open. I don't really believe in the supernatural or paranormal at all, so this was pretty confusing to me. I didn't have any doubt that I was perfectly safe in my bed, but it was hard to feel comfortable with these things getting up in my face. I tried several times to close my eyes and just ignore this, but every time I did, they would get more and more aggressive. I started to see mouths full of sharp teeth coming at me and in the bottom right corner of my vision it felt like a vicious leech piranha hybrid was frantically eating at my eye. There wasn't any pain, but it did feel as if my right eye was being forced open. And there were other physical sensations, too. I started to hear a high-pitched frequency in my head, and my skin started to feel flushed. The hair on my arms stood up, and I began to shiver. After about an hour of dealing with this, I decided that this wasn't going to go away on its own, so I turned on the TV and tried to focus on something else. Eventually, at around 4 or 4.30, I became so tired that I was able to fall asleep very quickly without further incidents. In the days since, it has been a nightly struggle to fall asleep without these visions bothering me. A couple days ago, I found that if I focused on picturing the events from a TV show that I had watched earlier in the evening, I wouldn't have any issues. I would just kind of narrate the events of a TV show and try to picture the show at the same time. At least two nights in a row, this was how I got to sleep. Tonight, though, it's about 5 a.m. as I'm writing this, I haven't had the same luck. I'm writing this on my phone, and up in the left and right corners of my screen, I can see two eyes staring back at me, waiting until I stop stalling. I don't know if this is a hypnagogic phenomenon. It seems likely because it only ever occurs when I'm in bed trying to sleep, but as I said, I can see the eyes right now, and it's taken me at least 20 minutes to write this whole thing, so I know I'm not on the edge of falling asleep at the moment. Not sure what to do about this, and I don't really expect there's a practical solution to it, besides forgetting about it, but I thought you guys might like to hear about it. Have a good night. I know I won't. I don't know about you guys, but I love reading these kind of Reddit posts, especially at night. I'm kind of a horror fanatic. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video, and subscribe for more content. And also share this around if you could. I'll see you guys in the next video.